going on, Legion? Azrael, <laughs> Azrael here, like always. We got the Star Wars, I hate saying it, the, Su the Skywalker Saga. Uh, Disney Plus is going to be putting out every movie that they've ever done. Um, too bad the last three were just not worth it. But I hate that we're, you know, it starts, it, it said it starts in 77, so it's all the movies. I hate that they're calling it the Skywalker Saga. I think that's pr stupid. Um, I was going to say something else, but I like to monetize my videos sometimes. So with that, let's just get into it, check it out, see what it's all about, and let's just see how they ruin this, I guess. Dude, the Skywalker Saga is so effing dumb. I, I hate it. Let's go. But this trailer should be awesome. The history. I want to learn the ways of the Force and become a Jedi like my father. It's all the way up, baby. You refer to the prophecy of the one who will bring balance to the Force. I need someone to show me my place in all this. Ray is the most overrated trash character in the whole series. The belonging you seek is not behind you. It is ahead. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> feel the force around you. fourth baby may the fourth all right so yeah I, I i don't like ray and you can at me all you want in the comments you can say whatever you want i'll watch episode one two and three more than i'll ever watch uh six seven and eight or seven eight nine um i there is nothing memorable about those last three movies nothing they're that basic the, I, I only can see that there may well okay I say that, but then there's an addendum to it. There is a lot of memorable crap. Not a lot. There's some memorable crap, some stuff that is, um, the only memorable things of like awesome notoriety where it makes you feel like, oh my God, Star Wars, yes, is when Han Solo makes his return, right? When you see the Millennium Falcon, that stuff, the stuff from the original, from the, from four, five, and six, uh, the seventies episode or movies, not episodes. Um, or episodes, I guess. Um, yeah, those are the ones that when you bring back the original cast, the original feels, the awesome stuff that was created by George Lucas, whether that was some of the lore from episode one, two, and three, or just the actors and what those characters have done from four, five, and six, those are the best points. Those are the best things about uh, seven, eight, and nine. Everything that was developed for seven, eight, nine as a standalone, uh, as a continuation, is it, I'm not gonna say it's trash, right? It is pointless and worthless to me. You could redo those movies and I'd be happy, right? And maybe when I'm an old man, they'll redo those movies, or maybe they'll redo something, maybe they'll redo all the movies in animated style with a unique way. Who knows? But, um, I mean, he'll, hell, even episode one, like, I, I know a lot of people give Jar Jar Bing, and when I was when I was young, yeah, I hated that character too, but now that I'm not, you know, fucking 17 or whatever anymore, you, you know, eh, Jar Jar Bing, like, I don't care. All the people that cry about that character are just whiny cunts, you know, and they're, they're, you should just ignore them anyways, because it's, it's over. It's been fucking 20 years or some shit, right? Not necessarily, you know, yeah, it's it's been a while. It's been a hand, yeah, it's been a long time, people. We can't complain about that character anymore. It's trash. We know it. But, like, even the pod racing thing, people love that for whatever reason. I was never the biggest fan. Um, but we had Darth Maul. And the Darth Maul and, and 
Obi-Wan fight is still one of the favorite scenes for a lot of people. So at least Episode 1 had something for people. Uh, whether it was Jar Jar or uh, Pod Racing or Maul or seeing the Naboo home world, whatever it was. Episode 2 didn't really... That was a love story. It, they, they definitely tried to expand a lot with the, um, the Coruscant kind of traversing. and It was all just kind of whatever. Episode 3, man, all I need is General Grievous and I'm happy. That oh, The whole opening of that uh, episode 3 is great for me. right? But I can't find really any of those things in 7, 8, 9, except when I saw Harrison Ford again. When the Millennium Falcon happened. Uh, what little, you know... Uh, Luke Skywalker was doing what his memorable moments, but that's it. Nothing else. None of that other stuff matters, and that is a personal opinion, right? I know there's a lot of people like, oh, I love seven, eight, nine. It was great. I completely think it was irrelevant. They were not good stories for me as a huge Star Wars fan, as someone that's been watching and and being a part of Star Wars since I was like seven, right? As a thirty-something-year-old now, I've been a fan for ninety-nine percent of my life, pretty much. And I was not a big fan of those movies. <clears throat> but uh, seeing these trailers, seeing these things like this, you get the feels. You're like, oh, it's the incredibleness. You get to see you know, all that stuff. It is a little bit ruined seeing Ray's stupid face. But uh, seeing like, a lot of the other stuff and Carrie Fisher and all that, it was you still get the feels for it. And uh, yeah. With that being said, I'm going to stop shitting on things that I hate the most. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be some whiny children neck beard people out there that are gonna well you know it, i don't care your, your opinions aren't you're not gonna convince me and you're not right you know your opinion can't be wrong because it's your opinion if you like those movies well, cool you know some people hate episode one two and three i understand i found the things that were awesome and that's what i gravitate towards um but your opinion is your opinion right like you can like it you can hate it you know, both people are right um But yeah, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. See whatever video I'm doing next. Later, guys.